This podcast starts in about two minutes. Well, I guess I can't get the music going, so <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out. But I just have a couple of things I want to talk about this morning. My name is Don. Thank you very much for joining us. If you are watching this on uh, live, and thank you very much if you are, uh, good morning. If you're watching this on the replay, Hope you're having a great day. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do hit the red button and subscribe notifications because once we're done with this we are going to uh, take this uh, file and put it on YouTube and I think I figured out how to do at least that uh, it is uh, the final Friday in August living in the, uh, the uh, uh, east coast of Florida our But let's just say we have as you feel the storm warning uh, that uh, gaining strength, it's already it should be a category three when it hits land either uh, I'm on Sunday. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are kind of hoping that that uh, storm was going to slam right into a certain Florida resort owned by a certain government employee. I don't think so. I mean, it's, it, it's a wide storm. It's a very intense storm. Um, and it will probably affect that particular piece of property a little bit, but it's not going to wipe it off the face of the earth. I do know that uh, the president has uh, postponed a trip overseas to come back and deal with Dorian. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, the last time a president had to deal with these things uh, hasn't turned out well for people, say, in Houston or northern Florida, the Panhandle, uh, Puerto Rico. And this could be a great opportunity for the president to show that uh, he actually can do presidential things. So uh, we'll see what happens. And again, our uh, good thoughts and uh, well wishes to the people in Florida, the entire state of Florida, because that's storm is probably going to cut through that state and go right into the Gulf of Mexico and God knows where what's going to happen when it does that. Uh, if you've uh, been watching us on YouTube, we've been uh, basically following the fate of a radio station called XEPRS. It is a uh, station with a uh, transmitter in Mexico and formerly studios in San Diego. It was the number one uh, sports station in that city until uh, the owners were tired of not getting the rent for the transmitter that they were broadcasting from, so they simply pulled the plug in April. Since then, their 3 to 7 o'clock act in San Diego has been doing a podcast of sorts, uh, uh, their, li their live show um, on YouTube and on Periscope, Facebook Live, wherever. They're also uh, now located, you know, audio only on the TuneIn app. And, and by the way, if you want to hear them, they're usually on Monday through Thursday from 3 until 4.30 
Um, and just look for Scott and uh, BR, Scott A and D B R, anywhere now, and you can pretty much find them and like them and and hit the notifications and all that good stuff. So, Scott Kaplan, the Scott of Scott and BR, has been trying desperately to get the station back on the air, and the the Mexican family that owns the transmitter pretty much was asking for too much money uh, for that. You'll be hearing, you'll be hearing, you just heard um, the ESPN thing. <laughs> Don't worry. Again, I'm still trying to figure this out. So we've been following this, this situation, and they're still broadcasting. Uh, live from the Calgary um, Media Center, the Calgary Golf Media Center. But there may be a change. And from what I understand, there were bits and pieces. Um, Alex Pedia, his uh, usual psychic, pro it, it was pretty much stopping him from saying too much. But from what I've been able to gather, are moving their op base of operations to his house. This is not unusual. Stephanie Miller, for instance, when she was told, you know, never to dark the iHeart Studios again, moved her show to her house. She's been at that house for the last two years. So it's not unusual to do your program from your house. Essentially, that's what I'm doing. Um, so, and that may be coming up in the next three weeks. Also, if you live in Southern California, we do have one piece of radio news that sort of broke this morning. Um, the number one sports station in Los Angeles is KSPN AM, a.k.a. ESPN LA 710. The number one act on that station is uh, Mason and Ireland, Steve Mason and John Ireland. Um, and they're going to be moving. Uh, they are right now doing their show from 12 until 3. They're now moving to prime radio real estate from 3 until 6.30. That starts Tuesday. That starts Tuesday. Now, ESPN has had a very successful national show called The Will Cain Show. And the uh, program management there thought that that was too good of an opportunity to pass up. So basically, The Will Cain Show We'll now be broadcasting live from 12 to 3, Mason and Ireland from 3 to 6.30, and uh, George or Jorge Sedano, depending on the day, um, is moving his program to, to early evenings uh, from 6.30 until uh, 9 o'clock or something like that depending on whether or not they're running uh, basketball at that time. And um, I'm sure they'll find other things for Sedano to do because he is a pretty you know, big deal uh, in the, uh, in the uh, universe of ESPN, one way or the other. But that's going to start on Tuesday. And really, uh, the ESPN station in Los Angeles is really one of the few bright spots anywhere in radio right now. They're very successful. They're very entertaining to listen to. It's going to pull the plug, go over to, to YouTube and listen to Scott and BR. Now? I don't know. 
But, uh, and we also don't know how, how the new uh, show in the new time slot is going to sound because there were certain things that uh, were uh, part of that program that were really, I th thought, you know, time slot intensive. So we'll see what happens there. Um, oh, and so I guess we're all alone here. Um, basically, that's it. That's all I have for today. Um, but basically, I'll be doing this uh, on a more regular scale now that I am figuring out how this piece of software is running. And it's a great piece of software, but there are still bugs in it. And I am going to be contacting the folks at PRISM live and, you know, basically uh, talk to them about that. And hopefully I'll be able to give you folks a better show and maybe even simultaneous uh, live broadcast from uh, from here to you know, all over the place. Anyway, <clears throat> I hope you're having a great day. We will talk to you soon. Um, if you want to support this thing, uh, just uh, drop a couple bucks to uh, paypal.me slash Radio Dawn. And we thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.